Malawi, a country in southern Africa. Most children grow up in poverty. Patrick Banda, a childcare worker from Tundu, will be following him and his sons. We will also follow childcare worker Hanex and his daughters, who live near Lilongwe, the capital city. They are all involved in the Roger Federer Foundation initiative, which has been made possible thanks to the partnership with Credit Suisse. How will the children develop over the next years? What changes will the country of Malawi see? In Malawi, the grass only grows to be as high as this once a year, just before the onset of winter and the dry season. In many places, the maize has not been harvested yet. In Tondu, the children show off the toy they have made themselves. It is no less agile and inventive than its European counterparts. The sand is still serving as their writing pads, but the children are only waiting for one thing, the opening of the new childcare center in Tundu. The center is a new landmark, not only for Tundu, but for the entire region. After a construction period of 18 months, the building is ready to be moved into. Bison Mania has painted several childcare centers in Malawi. He carefully paints the final few letters onto the new building. The villagers lend a hand because the opening is only one day away. Everywhere you look, there are shiny letters and colorful pictures like those you would expect to see in a children's book. My intention for the children is motivation. When I'm painting this, I interact with the learners in their minds. I see that if I can draw like this, it means that the children are going to be interested. It all starts with the children. If we lose them at the beginning, there is no chance for them to grow. We mean that the seed is very important and needs to be cared for and nurtured. The children are not allowed into the child care center yet. They would get in the way of the workers and it would be too dangerous. Child care worker Patrick Banda shows the Action Aid representative the teaching materials that they have had to make do with up to now. In the meantime, the children make a bolt for the brand new playground. How long the colors will stay vibrant remains to be seen, but the children are really impressed since they have never seen such a playground before. <laughs> Our old place in the church was completely different to the new child care center. The new center is very spacious. The floor is better. When the children sit on the ground here, they don't get dirty but go home with clean clothes. The new child care center is also very well ventilated. Fresh air flows in and out. The ventilation in the church was really very poor. Traditional toys, homemade and air-dried. They will fade into the background for a while. New toys have arrived that are not yet known here. Whether they achieve what Patrick Banda hopes they will achieve remains to be seen. The new toys are completely different to the ones we make ourselves. The toys that are made locally are not very durable. 
But these new ones appear to be sturdier. They can also be produced in large numbers. The toys also force the children to deal with something completely new, something they have never seen before. The boundaries of their old and familiar surroundings are expanded in this way. The day has finally come. The childcare center in Tundu will be officially opened. According to African tradition, such events are celebrated with singing and dancing. Janine Hendel, CEO of the Roger Federer Foundation, is the first guest of honor to arrive. The women are led by female chief Medina Williams. The existence of the child care center will have a lasting impact on the village. We will see a lot of change thanks to the child care center. Many people will come here to visit the center. It is a remote village and very few people come here from the outside. We are not used to having many visitors. Janine Hendel and Action Aid Malawi's Mata Konye explore the new playground. In the kitchen, talking to one of the volunteer cooks. The women are glad that they no longer have to cook the maize outdoors. Janine Hendel is not very happy about the cuddly toys because they do not really promote the interaction between the children and the childcare workers. She shows how cuddly toys can be used in a stimulating manner. very good work on the ground in the field but if you want to scale up a program in the whole nation in the whole country you need the support and the engagement of the government so political support is fundamental and crucial if we want to have a systemic impact in our work so therefore it's very important that we feel very honored that the minister uh, traveled here three hours outside of the capital and join us on this important moment and here she is the very important visitor from the capital city of Lilongwe. The Minister of Gender, Child Development and Community Development, Anita Kalinde, is almost swallowed up by the throng of bodyguards and villagers. The viewing of the child care centre becomes a little chaotic, with everybody gathering around the minister. She has cut the ribbon before the official opening ceremony could be filmed. Minister Anita Kalinde actively promotes early childhood development. Her presence in Tundu cannot be taken for granted. It is the first time that a member of parliament has ever visited Tundu. I am extremely happy that the minister visited us today. I would never have expected to see that. It is a very important moment for the people of Tondu. The celebrations are suitably exuberant. It is, after all, a celebration for the children of the whole district on whose development the centre may have an indirect impact. In 
rural areas like that, everybody is looking quite carefully what is going on in the whole region. Therefore, I'm sure that this model child care center we have here in Tundu will have a huge impact in the whole region. Child caregivers will come here, will learn from here, will see what it looks like to have a high standard of education. And therefore, it's not just in this center and for these two to three hundred children, we will have a direct impact on their education, but I'm sure it will be, have many others indirect beneficiaries out of uh, this center. The dancing is followed by an official ceremony with speeches. The minister is clearly impressed with the centre and the effort the villagers have put in to support its construction. For one day, the adults in Tundu forget their everyday worries and are happy for their children who might have better opportunities than they themselves had. Next time, we will visit a national conference for childcare workers, which Patrick Bunder will participate in. There is still no running water at the childcare center in Mbwetu. Will that have changed? When will a pipe bring clean water to the center? <laughs>